you doing? I'm Dave, that's Glenn, and in this episode of the NC Beer Buzz, we're at the Wedge Brewing Company in Asheville, which is in the River Arts District. We're here to talk to Carl Melissus, who's the head brewer, find out more about Wedge, and also show, once again, that beer is an art. So we're inside at Wedge now with Carl Melissus, the head brewer. Appreciate you being with us today, Carl, and taking the time to see us. Sure. Right. So tell us about how Wedge came to be and what the history of Wedge. Uh, see, what I was working at Green Man Brewery at the time, and Tim would come into their little sister spot, Dirty Jack's, down the road. Okay. And uh, he he had this idea that he wanted to open a brewery, and and he's never done it before, but he's owned a couple of restaurants back in New York, and so he decided, well, I think uh, you know it's time I want to do this, and you make the my favorite beer in town. And he was also good friends with John Payne, who's the gentleman uh, that died a couple of summers ago, who uh, purchased this maybe 15 years ago and brought all these artists in and gave them really fairly low rent okay. for Asheville, even in those days. And uh, so this was like just basically a big artist building, uh, and this was about five years ago, uh, and John Payne used to come in to uh, Dirty Jack's, with Green Man was making their beer there, and, uh, and they were all cooking this up over at this little breakfast place right around the corner over here, and getting this idea, and then John Payne said, well, I mean, you know, I'd love to have the brewery there. And uh, apparently the people who, uh, the couple, who were artists, had decided that they were going to move to New York to promote their art a little more uh, in a better way. Uh, and uh, so they knew they were moving out. And then we started sizing up the space. And I remember coming, and Tim Schaller, the owner, said, uh, hey, uh, why don't you come down and check it out? And I looked at it, and I thought, this is really cool, and it's a great spot. Right. You know, and then from there, it, it just started construction, and of course, getting these huge vessels into here was like a real job. I'm sure. I'm sure. Brought this all up from Florida, and uh, and we came to be when? When it opened up? Let's see. That would be 2007. Oh, okay. It would be May. We started making beer in March. And our doors were open like July 15th, okay. something like that, yeah. And if there was a mission of Wedge, what would you say it was, or a goal, or what are you striving for at Wedge that might set you apart? Well, I, th I think it was probably, it was kind of sort of a, it was a complete partnership between Tim and I, him being the bar and the social aspect and the no TVs, and actually John Payne, the metal artist that does the that did all the metal artwork around here that owned the building originally, you know, he was animate on. Okay, you can move in here. It was almost really basically written into the lease. No TVs in the bar. It was all conversation. So, Tim's side was, you know, it's all just camaraderie and bohemian artist community and people just locals and. And, and whatever, you know, out-of-towners or whatever get together, and it's just more like sort of a, that kind of bar atmosphere. My end of it was, it was beer art, you know. It was producing beer-like art, and it being in an artist community, it seemed like just like a natural. And my thing is kind of really to sort of spin the globe and to try to nail down more or less the standard of a certain style of beer. So, I mean, I, I, I like to, I, you know, try to say the humble thing because I really think it's true that I've, I'm, I'm really more of sort of a, a really good replicator, you know. Okay. Where I really almost try to channel a Czech Pilsner or a Belgian Strong Ale or a Porter from England or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So that's, that's kind of my side of it. And, so I think the two of us made a good, you know, good right. meet there. Well, good. being it is a beer community and you are a beer artist. Being a brewmaster, you are. So what is your background to bring you into this? 
did you start home brewing and went, you know, I really love this and it grew from there, or? Well, let's see. Uh, uh, probably uh, I was in anything to do with what I call the sensory arts. Okay. You know, uh, it was my interest in food, and that was out in California. And I, I just, I, I was in construction and, re and stayed in construction for about 25 years. But in between that, I decided that that wasn't, uh, you know, really what, where my passion was. And I had this love of food and I have all the background, the Greek and the French and everything. And uh, so I started working in restaurants and then I got highly into wines. And in those days, you know, beers were just not up to the snuff of the great. Burgundies of France, or mm -hmm. or the Cabernets of California, and Chardonnays, and Pinot Noirs, and all the great wines. And so it was it was the food thing for about 11 years that was my main passion. And then I picked up a bottle of Pierrot, which is a Belgian beer. In English, it's Pirate. Okay. It's basically a 10 and a half percent, well hopped wow. Belgian triple, and that just blew me away. And then, really, it was within months, I said, it's, that's it. It's just time to... I'm a beer man now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and wine all of a sudden took a back seat. Right. And, uh, you know, it was all about the Belgian beer, you know. So that's what started. And then I started homebrewing like a maniac and okay. won a bunch of national homebrew awards. Right. And then in Atlanta, I went around and uh, uh, went to... Uh, Dogwood, and I got my apprentice job there, and I, I worked for two months, three months in the summertime. And then from there, uh, I got a job up in Williamsport, Pennsylvania at the Bullfrog Brewery, and I worked for two years there, a little over two years. And then I, I just before I left, we entered like seven beers from there, and two won World Beer Cups. One was a silver and one was a gold. Shortly after that, uh, I got this offer down in Asheville, and, and, and that was the owner of Green Man Brewing. And then the rest was the other part of the That's story right. when I met Tim. Great. We often hear in North Carolina about the beer community and how it's up and coming, and there's so many breweries and new breweries. And, and everybody seems to find their niche and their place. Is there room for everybody? Is it more of a camaraderie and a fellowship community? Or is there a fair amount of the competition side as well? I'd say there's a lot of camaraderie, actually. I mean, it, it's, a, it, it's able to happen because there's so, much, uh, there's so much interest. And we have all these people pouring in from all over the country. Right. You know, like, want to check out Beer City USA. So, I mean, I really feel fortunate to be here. And so people are still finding niches. People are still finding all kinds of different styles of beer and things to focus on. Seems to me like there's constantly opening up with more and more room. Yeah. So you know. if somebody wants to come to Wedge and check you out, where are you and when are you open and when should people come in? Uh, we're, we're at 125B Robert Street, and that's in the back of the Wedge uh, Artist Building. And the River Arts District, is that in, correct? In right? the River Arts okay. District, uh, right, uh, right really on the other side of Robert Street. Uh, very close to 12 Bones, and that's a pretty famous, uh, they were on Good Morning America, it's a, it's a barbecue place, right across the railroad track. So really, one of the cool things about the Wedge is you sit out there and you watch trains go by and sip on a beer, and uh, that's really cool because it, the trains kind of pull you back out of the 21st century and kind of get you back down in that sort of post-industrial sure. feel that we have down here. And you're open wind. Uh, we're open, let's see, uh, Monday through Friday, 4 to 10, okay. sometimes a little later. Uh, I'm sorry, Monday to Thursday. Friday it's 3 to 10, sometimes 11. Saturday and Sunday it's 2, we open at 2 in the afternoon. And Sunday they might close at 9. Right, right. But Saturday night, it could be like a 10 or 11 thing, and we do occasionally, maybe every couple of months or whatever we do, um, we, we show movies on this 
truck out here. Oh, okay. Wrong. Yeah, and that actually also uh, is our grain storage. Okay. Right. That's where we keep all the malt. You know? Okay. Great. So. Well, yeah. we appreciate it so much you having us in today. Yeah, sure. And for us to hear it's the great story. Yeah. I remember. Until next time, this has been an episode of NC Beer Guys doing the NC Buzz. Uh, drink local. Keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. And until next time, we'll catch you later, guys. Yes.